Stephon Diggs tears ACL out for the season uh, after a non-contact knee injury. This is the second episode in a row where we've had an injury that was a non-contact injury. So this is just rough on the Texans. Obviously coming off a Thursday night football loss to the New York Jets. Um, obviously shows you that they need Diggs and Nico Collins, who is still out or still on IR from a hamstring injury he suffered in week five. Good news is uh, Collins is expected to return next week, so that's good news for Texans, uh, Texans fans. That you have Nico Collins and Tank Adele back together, but really losing Diggs is huge. I mean, the worst injuries are non-contact injuries. I I said that last week about Deshaun Watson. Those are the worst injuries, and like. The good news is, though, that Diggs was able to walk off the field under his own power. I feel like whenever whenever you walk off the field with your own power, it's like it might not it might not look as bad as it, what it eventually will be, as in as in this case, he tore his ACL. But I've seen multiple players walk off the field with like, but like with their own power, but then eventually tear their ACL, kind of like this. I mean, like I think it was running a route, and then I don't I don't really know the, the whole info on that. But, yeah, really, that's a huge blow to the Texans' offense. I mean, obviously, we saw what they looked like without Stephon Diggs and Nico Collins on Thursday night. I mean, that was wild. I don't know. Uh, the Jets had that in them still. I mean, uh, te- the Texans' quarterback, though, C.J. Stroud, had to rely on Joe Mixon, Tank Dell, and Dalton Schultz on Thursday night. So, yeah, I mean, it was it was rough. I'll tell you that. And I was watching, like, the first half of that game. That game was so boring. Like, it was mistakes, like fumbles, uh, dropping the ball before they got to the end zone. I will get that into reactions in a little bit. But, yeah, it was just a defensive game that uh, in the first half. And then all of a sudden, the, the Jets came out and won. So, uh, But originally, Diggs was not expected to play Week 9. But then they uh, eventually uh, marked him or labeled him as... Uh, season-ending injury, so he will not play for the rest of the year, which stinks for the Texans. I really do feel bad for him. I mean, I, as a Bengals fan, I know it's not your quarterback, but I remember I remember uh, Joe Burrow's season-ending ACL tear that he had in his rookie year. It just is horrible. I mean, obviously, I feel like Burrow's was worse than Diggs, but I'm not saying that Diggs um, – I'm not saying that Stephon Diggs isn't important. But at least he walked off on the field on his own power. So it's good news that Diggs should have a, or will have a full recovery. Um, but, yeah, obviously losing him for the year. The Texans, who are definitely 100% Super Bowl contenders, they're going to need him. So 